Hey everyone, welcome to Metal Guns and Outdoors. Today, we're going to be doing some small caliber action. I'm going to be putting a 17 HMR. This is a uh, normal round. Up against, I can't remember what brand this was. Sorry guys, didn't bring the box out. But anyway, it's a 5.7 by 28. Y'all can see the differences in them. If I get back here, there's a little more light. Both are mean, mean little rounds. Uh, I enjoy shooting both of them. Both of them definitely have their place in the gun world and the hunting world, that's for sure. Now for the 17 HMR, I'm going to be shooting this. Uh, this is a Marlin. What model is this? 17B. I remember when uh, Hootie Who bought this thing. He left it down here Saturday and loaned it to me so I could get a shoot. Thank you, Hootie Hoo. But this is a nice little rifle. Uh, I don't know what scope's on that thing. I don't see a brand name. But, hey, it's clear and I can see through it. So that works for me. And for the 5.7, we brought out the CMMG setup. Uh, this is their pistol platform. So, yeah, losing a little bit of barrel length there on the 5.7. Love these conversion mags. Uh, this is a good setup, guys. Basically, if you already have a AR pistol lower, you can order this upper from CMMG and that conversion mag, and bam, you're 5.7 all day long with your AR pistol. But just remember, and I'm not preaching, stay within the law. Say pistol barrel does go on a pistol lower. No buttstock. This is an arm brace. Do not put this pistol upper on a rifle lower or put a brace, uh, put a stock on this thing, a buttstock for your shoulder. That's not right. So keep it safe and keep it legal and have all your stuff matching the way it's supposed to. All right, enough preaching. What we want to do. To see which one of these rounds is going to do the most damage to a can of shaving cream. Yep, love shooting shaving cream. Already have a blue one sitting out there. I have uh, three cameras rolling on this thing so we can try to see the best that we can which one's going to do the most damage. Y'all throw down in the comments whether it's going to be the 17 HMR or the 57 by 28 all right, let's shoot this. All right, let's grab our ears and let's uh, let's shoot the 17 first. It's been a long time since I shot this little old rifle. Yes, I am being safe, pointing it around like that. I'm the only one out here. Nobody's even home at the house, and the puppies are all put up and locked away, so we're good. Alright guys, see what a 17 will do to this blue shaving cream. didn't stand a chance man it went back yonder somewhere let me see if I can go find that and uh, what the damage was all right guys I did find it there's our entrance hole right there it's tore it up pretty good but there's our exit man a little 17 bullet did a job on that thing I mean just ripped it right apart Wow. Well, let me go set up the red one. 
and uh, very interesting to see this 5.7 is going to beat that. Alright, got the other one set up. Let's rock and roll this bad boy. Green dot on. Huh, let's see if the five seven can do any better. Well, that was exactly the opposite. Can came flying back at us instead of away. Let me run out there and touch that can. and we'll see what kind of damage a 5.7 done. All right, the can was just right over there. There was the entrance hole right there. Small little hole. That's what you would expect. And there was the exit. I mean, it ripped it pretty good. Nothing like that 17, but still, it's a pretty good rip. I don't such a small bullet, that's for sure. And hey, this is why a lot of them little cameras don't live. Just because you get crap all over them. But, a little bit of uh, insider info here. You know what we do with stuff like this? Set it out in the sun, let it dry, good as new. That's why we got them cool little waterproof cases. Well guys, there you have it. I don't know which caliber you was rooting for, but uh, the way I see it, the 17 won in this little versus battle. Is it really, really split that can open and throwed it backwards. Whereas the 5.7, it split it open pretty good and it come forward. With shooting shaving cream, you just never know. Well, everyone, hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed shooting it, that's for sure. If you would, throw me down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon, please. And like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell if you would. Greatly appreciate it. Again, thank you all for watching. Appreciate everything. And until the next one, I hope that all of y'all have a fantastic day.